welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review and demo. This is like a first impressions on this new foundation that's coming out from NARS. I believe it comes out January 15th in NARS Boutiques, but it doesn't come out till all, at all stores until February 1st. Now it is called the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and it is like a revolutionary formula. And it boasts to wear 16 hours. So I'm gonna be doing check-ins throughout the day to see how long this wears on the skin. So if you're interested in hearing more about this brand new foundation, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay. Okay, so a little bit about this foundation. It is called the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And the color that I have is Light 6, C-E-Y-L-A-N. I have 20 different shades, I believe. So 20 different shades, yes, that's what it says. So let me just read you a little bit of information that I was given about this foundation. It comes out January 15th to NARS Boutiques, and it comes out February 1st to all locations. So I have the powder of this, the All Day Luminous Powder, and I love it, the powder foundation. So I was really excited for a liquid foundation. So this is what the information says. A new innovative formula provides a full natural coverage for a long wear without the weight of most full coverage foundations. So if you're someone who has an issue with the way a full coverage feels but you do like the the like look of a flawless look for full coverage this might be the perfect foundation for you because of the technology it is also highly pigmented you only need one drop to do a full face application the all day luminous weightless foundation comes in 20 shades and is clinically proven to last up to 16 hours. So I'm going to do a wear test today and I'm starting this really early in the morning so that I can get to the very end of the day and show you how long that this foundation wore and what it looks like on the skin. So let, let's just talk first a little bit about the packaging. It has like a frosted glass square packaging and it's taller than the um, Sheer Glow Foundation. And like a matte black top and then look everyone, a pump! So I'm really, really excited that this has a pump on it because most foundations from NARS, as you know, you have to purchase the pump separately. So this one comes with a pump, which I know a lot of people who are lovers of NARS foundations will be really, really excited excited about the fact that it comes with a pump. So it's a very, very light formula. This is my first impression. I've never put it on my skin before, so we're gonna go ahead and do this together. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender for application. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, and it did say, since it's so pigmented, you only need one pump, so I'm gonna try that and see how much it covers on my face. It says on the back, shake up well. So I'm gonna shake it up, and then, like runny, almost like a serum foundation. I don't know if one pump will really do it, but let's just see um, if it will. So go ahead and tap that on. And blend that. It is highly pigmented. But I do have like a blemish right here that it's not really covering. Um, it like, I can tell it like dries really quickly and it does feel lightweight. Okay, I would say one pump does like half of my face. It was a small pump, but it was one full pump down. I just wanted to try how one pump would do, and I just did one more pump, so we will try and see. I mean, it is very, very pigmented, but since it's so liquidy, it's almost hard to get that one pump before it dries. It does dry very quick. It was hard to get it all over um, my face quick enough so before it dried a little bit on my hand so but I definitely feel like you need a little bit more than one pump but it does feel like very very skin like okay so that was essentially like I, what I would call one layer um, for coverage this dries down really really quickly 
Um, I would say automatically, I feel as though it's like a satin finish. I think that if you did have oily skin, this would be a luminous foundation that you can wear. Although I'm gonna have to wear it all day to let you know if I find that um, it does really give more of like a dewy appearance throughout the day. I'm gonna have to let you know a little bit more about that. But first impressions, it feels like it really absorbs into the skin and very much is like skin like it also feels almost like a satin like a satin matte I would say so I mean it it says it's an all-day luminous but it's weightless foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and do just one more um, application and just to see if I can build it up it says that it is a very full coverage foundation and I just think because the consistency is so liquidy almost serum like that and it since it dries down so fast but you do see how pigmented it is but um I just want to see if what it looks like with uh two layers but yeah that is really really pigmented so um okay so this is what two layers of the foundation looks like on the skin um I built it up and it seriously does dry down so fast and it feels like you're not wearing anything. Your face, it really does have that weightless finish. It does come with one fluid ounce and considering you have to only use a little bit, like one pump, I probably used four pumps to cover my whole face. I did one pump on this side and I did two to like kind of even everything out and finish it off for that first layer. And then I did, um, probably one additional pump for the final layer. So it was like four pumps to cover my whole face and the pumps are just like a little tiny, tiny bit. Not even, I wouldn't even say a dime size because the formula is so liquidy and highly pigmented. But it really does feel very nice. It is very full coverage. It's supposed to last 16 hours and it's supposed to give that like nice weightless coverage for up to 16 hours. So I will let you guys know how it wears if I find that it has, if it's too luminous. So where I would say I wouldn't recommend someone with oily skin using it. I will have to wait to see because right now, like I said, it feels like it's a very matte finish. Not matte, but like very satin finish, um, natural looking on the skin. It doesn't look like it's overly dewy. So, so far, I'm really impressed. I can't wait to see what it looks like with other um, products on top of it. So I will do a check-in and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've had the foundation on probably about an hour now and I put my makeup on top of it. I kind of went light today because I'm just really going to be running errands and packing and stuff so I really went light on my the rest of my makeup but I love this foundation so far. I love the way it sits on my skin. I love the way that it looks. Like it really just does look like skin. It reminds me a lot of my Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. It really is that foundation that gives, because that one gives me great coverage. It lasts on me and it gives me like a flawless appearance and I feel like it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, like it doesn't give me that mask light. So same for when I look in the mirror at this. I do think that it has a little bit of like a glow, but it looks more like, um, like a natural glow. I'm not quite sure if I think it's dewy or anything. I didn't set my foundation with powder because I don't always do that, especially in the winter. But if I were going to be setting this foundation with powder, I probably would use the um, powder that goes along with it, the All Day Luminous Powder from NARS. That came out a couple of months ago. I love that. It's a very lightweight, finely milled powder, and I find that it gives a very natural finish. So I probably would use those in conjunction with each other. So depending on how I find that this wears, I might top a few places with that powder, and I will always let you guys know during the check-ins if I've done that. But um, so far, so good. So really like this, and obviously I can't can't tell you how it's going to wear throughout the day but I like the way makeup looks on top of it and I like the way it looks and feels on my skin so we're just going to continue to wear it throughout the day and I will check in at the end of the day. Okay I'm checking in and it's been about eight hours since I have had the foundation on and I have to say it has lasted. I did notice a little bit of like creasing under my eyes 
because I think I put brought the foundation up too high. Um, so, and I didn't, I forgot to set my under eye concealer with uh, powder today. So I did have like a little bit of creasing under my eyes, but I don't think that has anything to do with the foundation. Um, but I really, really like it. I do find that it does have a little bit more of a luminous glow like throughout the day. Like I don't think it is as matte as I originally thought it would be, but it still does feel very skin-like on the face. Um, but it has maintained its coverage. It hasn't broken down at all. It hasn't really oxidized. So I really do so far like it and I like the way it wears on the skin. I think it just really works with maintaining looking very skin-like. So I might probably not wear the foundation another eight hours, um, but I will probably wear it another three or four, so I'll try and do one more check-in. If I don't do another check-in, I have to say I really, really like this. I think it would be great for normal to dry skin, even uh, a little bit if you have a little bit oily skin. If you have extremely oily skin, I'm not sure I would use a foundation that says luminous ever anyways. You guys probably know that. But um, I think it is still, like I don't think it's too oily. Like I said, I never set it with a powder at all. So I haven't done anything to touch up or set it with anything. And it still just looks very nice and fresh on the face. So again, so far, I'm, I'm pretty casual today. I'm like, just been packing and like, I didn't even do my hair. So I had it in a ponytail, honestly, and I just took my hair down just to like, film this but I should have just left it in my ponytail but um yes so far really really like the foundation and I think that it has worn great I typically only wear my foundation for eight hours anyways so that's kind of what I'm looking for in a foundation is like an eight to twelve hour wear so 16 hours is above and beyond in my opinion so we'll see how far that this wears again I'll try and check in in another couple of hours Okay, so I do have one last check-in. This is going to be 14 hours later. I'm gonna take my makeup off now. It has lasted really well. As you can see, like I still have bronzer and stuff on. I think that this lasts a long time. I never put powder on or never touched up. It is a little bit, I did notice, you know, some shine in this area, more luminous. But I don't even know if it looked bad. It was more like, just really natural and um, very skin-like, so I never ended up using any type of powder or anything. I think that this is a really nice, skin-like, very weightless foundation, um, so I was really impressed with the first wear of it. I think with the foundation, you do need to give it more than just one wear, so that, take that for what you will. This was a first impression, so my first impression was that it did last a long time on the skin. It was a nice finish, very skin-like finish. It did need a little bit more pumps than just the one pump it that it said to cover the entire face, and I just think that that's because even how pigmented it is, the product didn't spread, like you just need more than that to even just spread the product. It just, it needed more than the one drop just to even spread. So, but the coverage was really, really great, very full coverage. So, um, really like this foundation, but this is the 14 hour check-in, so now I'm gonna go and wash my face off and go to bed, but I did want to do a really nice long wear test so that we could really test that out because 16 hours is a long time. I never need my foundation on for that long. So I was already convinced that this stayed on pretty well anyways. So thank you guys so much for watching. If I didn't answer any of your questions, please leave them down below and I will see you all in the next video.